this is not just a gathering because it's nice and because it's comforting, but to remind ourselves of the victories that workers have had when they are united, organised and they resist the conditions before them. It's important to remember the troublemakers of the past. People being thrown off farms and estates by the landed gentry. The toll puddle martyrs being sent to Australia for a crime uh, for, for a crime of trying to form a union. The radical suffragettes who used di direct action to win a vote. The women of Grunwick who, who bravely, very, very bravely took on the racist, bureaucratic establishment to change the whole of our movement. And of course the miners of our region who took on the brutality of Thatcher's regime. And what does history teach us, friends? That powerful people give us absolutely nothing without a demand. Without those, early without those early unions or the mass unionization of the dockers in the 19th century, workers would still have been chased out of farms, mills and docks. Being part of a trade union is still the best way to protect working people against the abuses of their employers. And I give thanks to all of those people in our movement past, and thanks to all of those people who are presently continuing to resist, because resist we must. We have a government at the moment who is content on sanctioning unemployed workers, leaving them destitute, whose privatised medical assessments for disabled people are degrading, humiliating and punishing, who are dismantling in front of our very eyes our beloved NHS, our school system. They herald and expect us across the North East to celebrate the jobs numbers without any critical analysis of the nature of that work and how work is insecure. There is low pay. Conditions for thousands and thousands of workers across the UK are poor and it's incredibly difficult for workers to access justice in the workplace. And friends, people in our communities are actually hungry in the 21st century. The injustice done to 1950s women, to the Windrush generation deporting British citizens, to the Grenfell survivors and our region is unforgivable and therefore the time for popular resistance against this government is now because because let us take heart this is not a message of despair the fight back is well and truly underway and the Tories are scared of all of our power the anti-austerity movement is a force to be reckoned with the anti-more movement a force to be reckoned with the street movement against racism is a force to be reckoned with the economy the, the protests against the gig economy the extraordinary strikes by outsourced workers at the University of London the victories against Uber and Deliveroo inspiring striking workers from McDonald's the UCU lecturers uh, the Deepak campaigners, all of the online and offline activism will ultimately lead to the downfall of this government, I am sure. Because we have two options, don't we? We just have two options. We can let the rich and powerful and the conservative politicians with all of their friends in the press decide for us what our communities will be like, what our jobs, what our lives will be like. We can accept in deference to their supposed superiority that they know what is best for us. We can believe that their wealth and power somehow gives them a divinity over us that we should worship them in servitude. We can allow them to place our friends, our colleagues, our neighbours in the indignity of poverty. Or we can see them for what they actually are, that they are incompetent exploiters, they are ruthless defenders of the current system, and we have to work with absolutely everything that we have to remove them from power. We are motivated by hope and by optimism and by love. We know what good work looks like. We know what a moral and decent social security system looks like. We know for ourselves what the solutions are for the NHS, for our education system. We know the austerity that we are still enduring has only been used as a tool to privatise our public goods. And when we are winning, we must remember, we must, must remember that the people who oppose us the most 
And when we are being so successful, they will be the loudest they will have ever been. They will say the worst things about our movement. They will use everything they have to try and break and fracture our solidarity, to have us fighting with each other. They will, do, they will try as hard as they can to demoralize us, to frustrate us and, and make us lose. But they will definitely, certainly not win. Because we are, we are the answer to our own problems. As long as we are organised, as long as we are active and united in common purpose. We are unbeatable, we are absolutely unstoppable. I look forward to working with you all on the streets inside Parliament to remove this government from power and achieve a better society. Thank you.